Hi guys, welcome. Burner here. If you've been following along, you know that a rat recently chewed through one of my sensor wires, which is apparently pretty common. Today, we're going to get in there and actually repair that electrical connection. So without further delay, let's go grab that electrical connector. All right, so while only this wire is chewed through completely, it's so close to the connector here that I'm going to have to take this pin out and redo this plug completely. The other wire does seem to be fine, but I think I'll just cut this connector off, take it over to my bench, redo it, and solder it back on. I'm going to make sure that I keep track of which color is which here. For the rat damaged wires, I'm going to cut this insulation back a little. I'm just going to make sure that the insulation is in good condition because I can always cut this back further and add a length of wire. But it seems only the ends here are damaged. So here's our plug and our first order of business is to get these wires out. Now if you look at the plug, there's this main slot right here that is actually the wire connectors. These smaller slots are for a wire terminal tool, something like this. This tool slots in to those small holes and you just press it down and you can hear that click. And once you do that, you can pull the wire out pretty easily. So that's the whole wire assembly. And now I can re-solder this. You can see how these pens work. They have these little metal fins on the sides that snap into the plastic connector. When your tool slides onto this, it presses those down and allows you to pull it out without these fins catching and holding it in. Since the wires I'm replacing this with aren't the same colors, I'm going to do this one at a time. I'm going to re-solder a wire in here and then once I do it, I'm gonna label it as blue and green and then I'll repeat the process with the other pen. This little silicone plug here is for weatherproofing. We're gonna remove that. There's this metal collar here and you can bend it back and that allows the silicone plug to be slid off. The plan is to solder on a new wire right here. I think I'll file this down a little bit though to allow me a little more clearance and also to make sure that I get a good surface to solder onto. It's worth noting that you can buy new pens if you can find the right type of pen. Um, I couldn't find the right type of pen, which is why I'm just re-soldering wires onto these pens. So I have my new wire, and I also have new silicone waterproof plugs. So I'm gonna put that on here first. So once this is soldered, I can just slide this back into place. Now, if you look at this, there's only a very small section here to solder to. So when I strip this wire back, I'm going to strip it back just a tiny bit. So that should solder on there just like that. So I have my soldering gun. I have a little bit of electrical solder. I'm not a great solderer, so this is gonna be messy, but it will work. Many of you probably know how to solder better, so just ignore my feeble attempts. We'll get there. Melt a little bit of solder on here. Do the same thing to the wire portion. These two are ready to go together. I'm just remelt the solder and they should press right together. There we go. So our last step, we're just going to slide the silicone plug down all the way down there. We can just crimp the metal prongs back on the silicone plug using a pair of needle nose pliers. So now all we've got to do is slide it back in. There we go, and hopefully you could hear it click back into place. Now when I tug on this wire, it's absolutely solid. You can look back in here and see that the contact is back in place. And now we've got a nice long lead on there. So this is ready to go back in the car. Yeah, so at this point, my GoPro stopped recording me 
soldering the connector back into my car. So this video doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. Instead, I'll just show you on my bench how I connected the electrical connector back into the wiring harness on the car. So if these are the wires from the vehicle wiring harness, and this is the new electrical connector you've made, the first step you need to do is make sure you've stripped both back at least a couple centimeters, so a good bit. Then what I did is I took some heat shrink tubing and slid it back like this. So now that we have our heat shrink tubing down here, we can start wiring these together. So we're going to take the wires like this and just twist them, twist them together like that on both sides. So when you're done with that, the wire should run in a pretty straight line. And now we're all ready to solder. Now there are other ways to repair these, but I really recommend that you solder it. Uh, any kind of clip or snap, the moisture gets into it, it corrodes, and then you have a short later down the line that you have to hunt down. The solder, however, is kind of a permanent metal bond, and so if it's really well soldered, it's not ever going to cause a problem. Now we can slide our heat shrinking over that. So now we can use the heat, heat gun to shrink this. Because the heat shrinking shrinks down so tightly over the wire, it should seal out most of the moisture and stuff that could get in there and cause problems. All set, totally connected, and I can pull on this really hard and it won't come loose. All right guys, thanks for watching. As always, I'll post tools and part numbers up on my blog, so you can check that out if you're doing this project. And of course, if you have comments, questions, feel free to leave them. I always like hearing from you guys. I will see you all soon.